Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I'm going to change a couple of things. One, I'm going to change the green on my flower or the leaves and the stems um, because I not totally happy although I think this blends in quite well um, I have done another one with olive um, not olive green wild wasabi and I just think the green looks a lot better and the other thing I'm going to change is the background paper here um, I've actually used irresistibly yours which is um, a specialty designer series paper that's available as a freebie um, in celebration which starts on 6th of January um, there's, it comes with 12 sheets, two of each of six different designs and I'm going to use a different design today. Um, I haven't tried it yet so I don't know what it's like. So uh, we're going to be trying this together. Okay, so to start off with the paper that you need um, is the card base is Paul Party and that measures eight and a quarter inches by five and seven eighths scored and folded in half. The Whisper light, White layer sorry, um, is 4 inches by 5 and 3 quarters. The Irresistibly Yours, they call it Specialty DSP but it's more like a cardstock. Um, if anything I would say it's a bit feels a bit thicker than Whisper White. Um, I will check up and find out um, but that's obviously going to be after the video. Um, Anyway, that piece needs to be three and seven eighths inches by five and five eighths. Then for the centerpiece here, you need Whisper White, which measures two and three eighths by four and three quarter inches. Paul Party is two and a quarter inches by four and five eighths. The Whisper White is two and one eighth inches by four and a half inches. And the two small pieces for the sentiment um, pool party is two and three eighths by seven eighths inches and the whisper white is two and a quarter inches by three quarters of an inch. So there are all the pieces that you need. The first part that I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss the irresistibly yours. Now the piece that I'm using for this card um, is the dots. Now I don't, it's, can you see it's a beautiful sunny day here today. Uh, I don't know if that's going to stop you from, oh no you can see the dots. That's right. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with my full party ink and my sponge. Uh, we sell these sponges. Um, they're this is a quarter of it. I cut mine into four and I punch out a piece of the uh, colour stock that it's, I'm using it for and staple that to the uh, top. Um, they've stopped doing this tag punch but the large oval would do brilliantly for this. So what we need to do, and if I can just get a sheet of scrap paper to put under the knee, underneath here and just ink up the sponge and go all over. It's as simple as that. I just absolutely adore this paper. As I place orders um, between now and the end of March, which is how long celebration goes on for, I'm going to get myself a little stock of this because I will use it on my personal cards. So far I've done stripes and the leaves um, I've done as well. Both of them absolutely superb. Um, the other designs are, um, there's flowers, there's uh, a fan design, and so what does that leave? Oh, stars. That's right. Stars will be absolutely brilliant for Christmas and also um, if you're saying congratulations to anybody for anything, you're a star. So, uh, right, I think that is probably done enough. Quite a bit of this is going to be covered up with um, different bits and pieces. 
I always do that, don't I? I say, I think that's enough, then I carry on. <laughs> Never mind. Right, OK, so there's that piece. Before I say that that is enough, I have a piece of kitchen towel here. And I'm just going to rub um, the excess paint ink off of the embossed dots. It doesn't bring much off, but it does brighten it up a little bit. Okay, you can't really see very much there, but there's a bit. Let's see if I can get that off my finger as well. Okay, so what we do next is I've already adhered my. Let's get rid of that. I've already adhered my whisper white layer to my card, and now I'm going to layer this onto this base and I'm going to use snail I'll just tip this up so that uh, I can do my best about getting it straight Now the next piece I'm going to do is this centre. Um, I didn't mean to drop that on the floor, did I? Never mind. Um, the stamp set I'm going to use is called Butterfly Basics and this is a new stamp set that's going to be available again 6th January when we launch the new Spring Summer catalogue. Um, I'm going to use this flower here um, it comes in two sets because there are quite a lot of stamps in this one. Right, and I'm also going to use Memento ink. Now, to position this, um, I suggest you go for getting your, let's show you another one that I did, um, to get your stem as low to the bottom as you can and to get these two flowers to make sure they're on your uh, whisper white. Um, last thing you want is to find that you're going off. So from here, this is one of the few things it's easier to do from this position because I can see when my the stem is coming and I can also make sure that my two side flowers are going down nicely and make sure the stem is straight as well. Now I'm not going to um, sit here and make you watch me do all the painting. I've timed myself and it does take me 10 minutes so you certainly don't want to do that but what I will show you that's just as well. It looks as if there was a bit of mm, there's a bit of um, thread on my stamp, which has spoiled this. Never mind. Um, it's just as well that I'm not going to be showing you how to stamp all of this. Um, the stamen in the middle. I'm using um, Hello Honey. I'm not the best painter in the world, which is part of the reason why I'm not going to sit here and show you how I do it. Um, but it's certainly good enough. What I tend to do is go around the edges, obviously with the markers. When I get time, I'm going to practice with the blendabilities. Because they are bound to be absolutely superb. So as I say, just go around all the edges. So once I've done that, I go around the edges again on top of that and I do it three times in all because then it makes it come up darker. Okay, so that's the second one and then I go around the third time. 
once that's all nice and dark then what I do is I very quickly just fill in the rest try not to go over the same bit twice now there we go and that gives um, a level of shading okay I see that yep I think so um, and I do the same with the leaves as well um, let me show you this one um, as you can see where I've got the dark outside I've gone around that three times and then I very quickly colour in the rest of it um, also on mine I've coloured three little bits here um, in blue I think they're meant to be leaves but I just wanted to get a bit of extra blue in there and I don't think anybody's really going to notice so that's how I did my painting. Fortunately, with the benefit of uh, videoing, I've already done my one. The colours I've used, that's Pool Party, that's um, Hello Honey, and the green I've used is Pear Bazazz. Um, I did try using Old Olive, and I found that that came up far too dark. I didn't like that one at all. Um, so this is the one I'm going to do. Before I adhere that, I'm going to do the ribbon part here. And this is the ribbon. It's another new item in our spring summer catalogue and it is jute. I absolutely love that. Um, and what I wanted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere it across the uh, front here but I'm only going to put some glue in the centre bit because I want to fray it off. So what I will do is with my scrap paper and a little bit of snail and whereabouts do I want this? Round about there. So that's probably about an inch and a half up. About an inch and a half up? Mm, approximately. Now you need a really nice sharp pair of ribbon scissors and just cut up in between the strands. Just making sure I'm in the uh, in camera there. I suppose I'm cutting in for about an inch here. There we go. I'll come back and do this one later. Um, it's quite easy to do it once everything's done and then I just rough up the edges to make it go a little bit fluffy I don't know if you can see that fluff coming off there but then I will do it on that side too so I'm going to put my image onto my card using dimensionals and I'm going to do two top two bottom and then I'm going to do two just above the jute so if I've got those there I'm going to be putting it there so I need these two to come here
And then the last bit I need to do is the sentiment, which is from um, a celebration freebie. Um, it's this stamp set called Big Day, and I'm using this sentiment here. Now this, you do need to use your stamper magic, which I'm sure I've got here somewhere. Um, because the pieces are so small and what I'm going to do is put a little bit of snail on here and then I don't want it as sticky as that that should be okay I've just used my um, embossing buddy to take some of the sticky off So I don't want my piece of paper to stick permanently down there. The problem is because my uh, sheet and my um, Stampin' Majig tool isn't touching this, it would be so easy for that to move if it wasn't anchored down. So again, in, um, pull, pull, pull party ink and make sure you've got this up the right way and hopefully yes spot on now let's see if this comes off all right yes it does good good okay so I am going to um, make the uh, pennant part here with my other scissors. So I'm going to cut that halfway up the centre and then from corner to corner. Then if I, yes, I'm going to put this on first, glue it on first, and then I'm going to cut the pennant. Just follow the lines up. not quite straight but never mind I'm not going to worry about that so to put this on here I'm going to use a glue dot um, dimensional underneath and did I bring any glue yes I've got some Tombow here just going to put that down with Tombow glue and dimensions I'm only going to use one on this I think it's uh, quite narrow and it does have the Tombow holding up the other end. There we go. I've still got to fluff that up but I'll do that afterwards. So what do you think? Um, spots or stripes? Um, I quite like them both actually. I think the jury is out on that one, as they say. Um, I would just like to show you this. This was the first card that I did. Um, the backing is um, gorgeous grunge, but I did it on um, uh, water, uh, waterproof paper. Um, 
oh name's gone anyway I'll put it on the screen you know what I'm talking about um, but I didn't really like how this came up so that's why I moved on to the Whisper White um, I hope you like it um, we've got lots of nice products coming out in the new spring summer catalogue and also some really nice uh, freebies to choose from as well for every £45 you spend well I hope you've liked this video if you have um, I please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the um, subscribe button which is on the top right hand side of your screen um, and if you'd like to buy any of the products featured here please click on the link below which will take you to my 24-7 online stamping up shop many thanks for joining me today until next time happy crafting cheerio